Next tonight, residents in rural Lancashire who laid their own cables to improve internet access are enjoying life in the digital fast lane tonight. The first households in seven parishes across the trough of Boland have finally been linked up to the World Wide Web. As the project is attracting so much interest from remote areas across the UK, as national figures show over five million people still have no access to basic broadband. Peter Marshall reports. It's remote enough to need mountain rescue. Great for scenery, shocking for streaming. Eileen Wallbank helps run a dairy farm in the trough of Boland. When she's not looking after the herd, she's trying to do farm administration on a dial-up connection. Quite often I spend a couple of hours sat in front of the computer um, and uh, just waiting for it to get onto the next page. I'll just get to the point where I've practically got there and uh, then it'll crash. Soon she'll have a connection just like Bruce Alexander down the road in Quorma. There we are, no buffering at all. He's one of the first households connected under the Broadband for the Rural North, or BARN, project. You just go on the computer, you know it's going to work, you know you can watch it, um, you know there's no buffering, you know you're not hanging around for it to, to get up to speed. It's just a pleasure to use. It's all down to a big box of technical tricks, 40 miles of trench work and cabling, and community cooperation. Throughout the year, volunteers have been learning how to connect their own homes to newly laid cabling. Locals funding and developing a service in an area that commercial companies run shy of. So far, 14 homes have been linked up to the one gigabit per second service. Eventually, the first phase of this project will serve up to 2,000 homes, and it's attracting attention from far and wide. There's lots of locations around the world where it's really hard to reach, hard to get network connectivity into, and I think this project shows that with a, with a bit of effort and enthusiasm at a local level, you can really do big things. Will you be pleased to see the back of the dial-up connection? Oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> be a huge relief. <laughs> Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Abbey Stead. Yeah, so if you want a job doing, do it yourself, and it means that you can watch Northwest Tonight on the iPlayer, if they wish. <laughs> Very good. I was going to say, is that something Mrs Johnson says regularly? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, probably. probably. <laughs> <laughs>